So now what we're gonna do is the actual pipetting lab. Uh, I know I could do the whole thing, but I'm gonna go through a good piece of it, and I'm gonna go through the data that you're gonna collect and the calculations, and you're gonna repeat this uh, multiple times with different volumes, and I'll explain that. Uh, so, so you need the same thing, you need your balance, you need some water, you need the weigh boat, you need the pipettes that you've already calibrated. So if you haven't calibrated a pipette and put the markings on it exactly where one mil, half a mil, and three milliliters are. So you need really those markings. You could use the one mil multiple times. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but this is the recommendation. So what we're going to do is a laboratory that both looks at pipetting and helps you practice your pipetting technique. Because when you do this in future labs, you can't really be random with it. It has to be fairly precise. And that's what I'm going to talk about right now. This lab is really about uh, precision versus accuracy. It's really, really these two things. And we're going to use this just as a uh, pipetting and collecting data from the weight of the water as a way to calculate precision versus accuracy. So what do I mean by those terms? So accuracy is the amount that, that you get, that you measure out, uh, how close it is to what you expect. So if I expect this to be one milliliter and I weigh it and it says one milliliter, that means it's accurate. If I expect it to be one milliliter and I weigh it and it says 0.95. It's close, but it's not quite accurate. If I do it again and it says 0.95, not accurate, 0.95, not accurate. However, if it's 0.95 every single time, that means it's repeatable and that's what we call precision. Precision means it's exactly the same every time. Accuracy is how close each of those times that you do it are to what you expect. So what you're going to do is repetitively pipette a specific volume, record the weight of that volume. You're going to do this 10 times. I put it into a little table and I put, put a table on a board over here. I'm going to show you the video of the board so you can kind of see how the data will, will fit into it. And then you're going to do a bunch of calculations with that. You're going to calculate the average of your attempts. And then you're going to calculate something called the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is going to tell you what variation there was between all those attempts. Essentially, so what is your level of precision, right, between them? So what are you gonna do? You'll turn on your balance. If it's not already teared, tear it. Uh, put your weigh butt on, or again, if your weigh butt was already on, it'll just be teared with the weigh butt. So now I'm gonna do one milliliter, we'll start off with one milliliter, 10 times. Then you're gonna do 0.5 milliliters, 10 times, and we're gonna do three milliliters, 10 times. That's what you're gonna do physically. So how you would do it is take your pipette, draw it up to the one mil mark. Do that and mine now says 0 0.98. So that's what I'd write down, 0.98. Tear your balance, zero it out, and then repeat it. Do the same thing again. So I'm just gonna go through the same thing. Oops, try not to spill your stuff. That time I'm a little bit less, I'm at 0.96. Okay, so I'll, I'll do this one more. I can make you watch me do this 10 times. Uh, I'm just gonna give you an example here. Again, I'm gonna try to get up a little bit above that. Okay, I think I'm a little low. All right, there we go. I think this is good. It said 1.0, and now it says 0 0.99, but it's that's very close, so right there now it's 0.99. And that's the idea, you just tear that, then I'll do it again and again and again until I get 10 data points. And once I have all 10 data points, then I can start to do the calculations. Again, you're gonna repeat this whole process, both the, the physical pipetting and recording of data and the calculations that I'm about to show you, you're gonna do this three times with three different volumes. So this, the, once you're done with all 10 of these for the one mil, then you're gonna start over and do the 0.5. So you're gonna draw it up just to the 0.5 mark. I pet that in there, make sure you get everything. And then you write those numbers down and do that 10 times and so forth. And you do the three mil time. So now I'm gonna sh uh, show you how to do the calculations. 